All right, man, we got the top five loadouts after the recent update, and I'm not even gonna lie, these guns hit. Make sure you guys watch all the way to the end, man. If you guys feel like I left any gun off this list, just let me know down in the comment section. If you guys do enjoy the video, you feel me? Just drop a like on the video. See if we can get this video to 400 likes in one single day, and I will bring you guys the top five SMGs. Really quickly, we gotta give a shout out to the Nodi gang. If you guys wanna be in the video, just comment your favorite gun down below. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Make sure you guys follow all my socials and, um, Enjoy the video. The first gun we got up on the list, man, is the MAC-10. If you guys didn't know, the MAC-10 got a buff, and ever since, kids have been slapping me with it. I had to throw it on the list as one of the top SMGs. But enough of all that talking, let's get straight into the best setup. So getting straight into it, man, the MAC-10 does kick up quite a bit. So the first thing we threw on was the muzzle, the agency suppressor, which gives you the sound suppression, vertical recoil control, which helps with the recoil, of course, uh, the bullet velocity, along with the effective damage range, which is key on this gun. Next to Saturan is the magazine, the Stanek, 53 round drum self-explanatory is just extend your ammo of course for the rigor we ran the serpent rat which gives you your ads time amazing on an smg ads time and sprint and fire time are two key things that you guys want to have next to you ran is the stock the raider stock which gives you your ads fire move speed your aim walking move speed along with your sprint to fire time then the very last attachment ran is the best barrel on the mac 10 which is the 5.9 inch tattoo barrel which gives you effective damage range but a velocity along with your straight speed ever since this gun got a buff man they've been going absolutely crazy with it and I see why but uh go to take a screenshot and next up we got the NZ 41 this thing received about like five nerfs and it's still top two ARs in the game might not be number two that's all I'm saying but enough of all that talking let's get straight into the setup man so for the very first attachment we ran is the muzzle MX silencer which just gives you your sound suppression horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control and your damage range absolutely amazing especially for an AR that you guys are going to need it for the underbro we ran the M19 uh 30 striped angle which gives you a horizontal recoil control for the barrel we ran the orb Reaver 360 millimeter BC barrel, which is the best barrel. It used to be the burst barrel, but now it is the Orb Reaver, which gives you a highly accurate and controllable reduced scope sway along with your bullet velocity. For the optic, it's always optional. I tell you guys this all the time. If you guys want to run something else, go ahead and run it. But for long range, the SVT 40 is like undebatable, probably the best optic in the game on Vanguard ARs. For the stock, we have the LOR MK3 SC stock, which gives you a recoil control when mounted, crouched, or prone, accuracy and recoil during sustained fire, which is the key thing on that for the perk one we threw on brace initial fire and recoil control perk two fully loaded gives you all your ammo on pickup rear grip is the polymer grip which gives you a flinch resistance along with your accuracy and recoil during sustained fire for the magazine it is the eight millimeter clouds of 40 round mag that you guys definitely want to run the other mags are okay not ready though just go ahead and run the 40 trust me on that then the very last attachment ran is the ammunition lengthen which gives you a bullet velocity for that extra range so you know it hits harder at range this thing i'm so sick of the nz but i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's still top two AR in the game man but um go to take a screenshot speaking of guns that got nerfed but it's still top in the game we have the marco 5 now this gun is very very fun to use and i'm glad even though they nerfed it about two to three times i'm really really happy that it's still meta because it's it's just so fun man i have the best setup this is a brand new setup after the nerf so enough with all that talking let's get straight into the setup man so for the class setup you guys definitely want to run is the muzzle recoil booster the one of the top attachments on all vanguard smgs uh for the barrel we ran the body 240 millimeter bl barrel which gives you fire rate just same as recoil booster for the under barrel we and the m1930 stripe angle usually we run this on ars but it's amazing on the marco which gives you a horizontal recoil control because this gun does kick up quite a bit for the magazine we ran the eight millimeter nambu 64 round drum which gives you your hip fire accuracy recoil control along with your magazine ammo capacity the rear grip is the hatch grip which gives you a horizontal and your vertical recoil control like i said this gun kicks up quite a bit so throwing on this helps when it kicks up either up or left to right absolutely amazing man for the ammunition we ran lengthen just so if we wanted to use it at a little bit range a little bit further than smg range it hits because it gives you your bullet velocity perk one we have unmarked perk two is quick to turn you to a speed demon stock is the emerito fr stock which gives your initial fire and recoil control recoil recovery ads speed along with your moves and speed absolutely top tier on an smg then a very last attachment ran is optional like i said if you guys want to run something else going to run something else but personally for me on the marco 5 this slate reflector goaded you guys have to try it if you haven't man i've been trying out new sites but the slate reflector absolutely amazing but um go to take a screenshot so i'm gonna keep it a stack we might have found the new best ar if you guys haven't tried the cooper carbine out you definitely have to the cooper is one of the top ars in the game right now top three for sure especially on a rebirth island if you guys play rebirth definitely give this gun a try but enough with all that talking man let's get straight into the setup so for the very first attachment you guys want to run is the muzzle the mx silencer which gives you a sound suppression horizontal recoil control vertical recoil control along with the damage range absolutely amazing mx silencer is so good on uh 
of Vanguard ARs. For the barrel, we have the best barrel, the 22 inch Cooper Custom Barrel, which gives you a highly accurate and controllable your fire rate, your reduced scope, sway, and gun bob, along with your damage range. Like I said, absolutely amazing. Uh, for the underbarrel, we have the Carver Foregrip, which gives you a vertical recoil control, along with your hip fire accuracy. Now, of course, you guys aren't hip firing with this gun, especially since it's an AR, but the vertical recoil control is the best on this underbarrel, so that's the reason we have that on. For the magazine, we have the 9mm 60 round drum, which just extends your ammo, of course, to give you more rounds. And it, out of the 45, the 25, and the 30, the 60 round is definitely the best way to go. It gives you as many bullets as possible, and it actually hits. For the ammunition, we have lengthen just to give you that bullet velocity at range. You guys seen we have that on most of our ARs, some SMGs. Uh, for the rear grip, we have polymer grip, which gives you a flinch resistance along with your accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So when you guys are shooting your gun, your gun stays stable as possible while you're shooting it so you guys can hit better shots. For perk one, we have tight grip, which gives you accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. Perk two is fully loaded just to give you guys all the ammo you need. Per, uh, next next attachment we ran was the stock is the Cooper, Cooper Custom Padded Stock. Sorry about that. Which gives you your accurate and recoil control. I, I just keep saying the same thing during sustained fire. So you guys know this gun is going to be steady as possible. Along with your flinch resistance. For the optic, we have the SVT 40PU scope. Which is, you know, the best scope on Vanguard ARs. Which I told you told you guys when I showed you guys the, uh, the NZ41. If you guys want to run something else, I tell you guys all the time. It's optional. But I gotta say, the SVT just been hitting different lately. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Cooper Custom down below and uh, go to take a screenshot. Now, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I, I, I would have been a fool to leave this gun off the list. Next up, we have the Kilo 141. So if you guys didn't know, the Kilo did get a buff, but right after the buff, I think a couple days later, they nerfed it. It was a small, slight nerf, nothing crazy, because since it's on this list, it's still top five in the game, especially for ARs, man. We got a little MW meta that came back. The Kilo meta was absolutely one of the funnest ones we've had in a while but enough with all that talk let's get straight into the best setup so i'll be honest if you guys don't already know the setup you guys probably missed the the golden the golden days in verdance man so for the muzzle we have the monolithic suppressor the best muzzle on mw guns or mw ars well not nah, mw guns in general because we also run monolithic suppressor on some uh modern warfare smgs so we have monolithic suppressor which gives you a sound suppression along with your damage range the best muzzle to possibly run for modern warfare as i said the underbarrel is the commando foregrip which gives you a recoil stabilization along with your aim stability the keto is already one of the steadiest guns in the game so you guys don't need no like hard hitter thing that helps you with recoil control if you know what i mean the magazine we ran is the 60 round mag which just extends your ammo of course 50 is cool but i feel like 60 doesn't slow you down uh, like quite a bit so you guys can just run a 60 i think it's better than the 50 in my personal opinion the optic is always optional but for modern warfare guns vlk three times optic seems to be the best on long range guns for you know the modern warfare era for the barrel we ran is the best barrel no other barrel is competing with this we have the Sengard arms 19.8 inch prowler barrel which gives you a damage range but a velocity along with the recoil control three key things you guys all need on a top ar like for a fact ever since the kilo got a buff it's been absolutely amazing man but uh let me know what modern warfare guns you guys want to see come back but uh go to take a screenshot now i got a little surprise for y'all man for the very last gun we got up on the list i will be a fool to leave this gun off we have the armor gera now if you guys don't know ever since the marco and the blitzen got a nerf even though there's still two good smgs the armor gera took a time to shine once those guns got touched, man, and it's been absolutely dominant. I've been dying to it. There's so many builds you can make with it, but I think we got the best build, personally. That's all I'm saying. Enough of all that talking. Let's get straight into the setup. All right, man, so y'all already know, first up, first attach we have on the list is the muzzle recoil booster. Like I said, on all Vanguard SMGs, the recoil booster is absolutely top tier. It gives you your fire rate. The next attach we is the best barrel on the armor gear, at least for this build, which is the Emerito 180mm short barrel, which gives you your ADS speed along with your aim walking move speed and your sprint to fire speed. Sprint to fire speed, always key on an SMG. For the next attach we is the underbarrel, which, give, which is the SG98 compact underbarrel which gives you your aim walking move speed along with your reduced scope sway and gun bob for the magazine we ran is the eight millimeter curry 72 round mag which gives you bullet velocity and range damage bullet bullet penetration mag and magazine ammo capacity which is extender ammo of course for the ammunition we have some sonic which just basically keeps you off the radar and uh, oblivious to enemies for the rear grip we ran the grooved grip which gives you your ads fire move speed along with your horizontal recoil control absolutely goaded for perk one we have hard scope which is a recoil control to help with this gun because armor gara does kick up quite a bit for the perk two we have quick to turn you guys into an absolute speed demon for the optic is always optional i tell you guys this all the time but slate reflectors is my go-to for most uh 
Vanguard SMGs. Then the very last attachment ran is the stock Emerito TA Skeletal Stock, which gives you your aimwalker movement speed, aimwalker steadiness, ADS speed, along with your initial fire and recoil control. I would have been a fool to leave this gun off this list, man, because ever since these guns got a nerf, the armor gear has really been shining. But uh, go to take a screenshot. But uh, yeah, like I said, if I missed any guns on this list, let me know down in the comment section, man. After the update, we got a lot of changes that went absolutely crazy. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a sub, it'd be very, very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, legend. If it's right up in a circle, but that chopper get low. Yeah, I bet that chopper get low. I bet that chopper get.